Hello, me again. This time with an yet another engine. Uh, this time a Southern Pacific E8 uh, from Proto 2000 as well. Um, mainly I'm just going to do a bit of video of this one because it's such a nice paint scheme. This is a really, really reliable engine. I use this mostly for freight at the moment because I don't have any... Look at that, flashing light. I don't know how well you can see that, but um, maybe if I just do it really low speed. There we are. I'm supposed to only do that at low speed to uh, indicate that it's moving. But it's just a really smart scheme. This is one of the things I love about um, American trains, is that they, they totally aren't bothered about just painting this in a completely loud, bright red paint scheme, and then putting an orange band all the way along the side. It just looks fantastic. This, incidentally, is the daylight paint scheme, uh, which is quite famous in the States. I've already shown you a, a video of the engine, the locomotive, the GS4, and I'll link into this video somehow, um, which uh, is the steam locomotive that would have run the daylight train uh, before these diesels, before the advent of uh, diesel electric power. So yes, as you can see, it's a very nicely detailed model, as you'd expect. Only problem I've found is that the uh, the fact that it's so heavy means it does actually require quite a lot of power to get it going. Um, also, these all these details are actually slightly bendy plastic; they're not wire, so it means that they're they they're liable to break quite easily, which is one unfortunate thing. And also that since they're moulded plastic and not painted plastic, they some they look a little bit um, bare. They don't they don't look so good. Um, even though they're the same colour, uh, see this. You know, the rest of the body is just a standard thing, and then they'll just spray it in that colour. But to be honest, I don't. I don't really mind because until I'm doing something with a really complicated layout, I um, and a lot of detail, I wouldn't be bothered about changing something like that. Anyway, good slow operation. Um, A very satisfying whir from this one. Uh, Broadway Limited, who made my California Zephyr cars, um, they are supposedly making some uh, some daylight cars in this colour, which will be streamlined all the way along. Uh, a classic, a real classic American streamliner. Um, the only thing is, Broadway Limited will be releasing them as they're articulated cards, so they come as in a three pack, which means it will be expensive, and I probably won't be able to afford them at all. Um, anyway, I'm sure I'll track some down at some point. Uh, of course, videos are coming, so I'm sure you'll see this pulling a freight at some point. Alright, all the best, see you next time.